news update. For Info Life TV, this is David Oman. Israeli security sources have confirmed that progress has been made towards a prisoner exchange deal for the release of Corporal Gilad Shalit, but added that the deal had not yet been reached and that Shalit's release was not imminent. According to a Channel 2 news report, between 400 and 500 Palestinian prisoners are to be released in exchange. France pledged cooperation with a Palestinian unity government that would include Hamas, but made no commitment to renew aid and end the financial boycott imposed on the Palestinian Authority since Hamas rose to power. Deputy Defense Minister Ephraim Sne denied on Saturday the report in the British Daily Telegraph that Israel requested permission from the U.S. for an aerial corridor over Iraq should it decide to attack Iran's nuclear facilities. The five permanent members of the U.N. Security Council and Germany will meet Monday to discuss Iran's refusal to halt its uranium enrichment program. Police Commissioner Candidate Yaakov Genot is scheduled to arrive at the High Court of Justice Sunday morning for the court's review of a number of petitions filed against his appointment, citing his acquittal due to reasonable doubt on charges of bribery and fraud in 1996. Venus Williams beat Israeli top seed Shachar Peer 6-1-6-1 on Saturday to win the Memphis International Tennis Tournament. Peer lost to Venus's sister Serena Williams last month in a close match in the Australian Open. Coming soon on InfoLive TV, a delegation of French Jews comes to Israel to strengthen the bond between French Jewry and the State of Israel. And finally, we bring you the story of the parents of the soldiers who perished in the helicopter catastrophe 10 years ago. InfoLive.tv, the world's first television channel broadcasting on the web in four languages, live from Jerusalem. If you want a direct look at Israel and the Middle East, Info Live TV is there, at the heart of the information, at the heart of history, at the heart of Israel. InfoLive.tv